this my brother my sister this is the big daddy of the snail farming business this is arguably the most lucrative value chain in the entire snail farming industry and i'll tell you why hello guys welcome back to my channel this is michael from zenac snail farm here we talk about snail snail farming and gardening if these topics interest you i would encourage you to subscribe i bet you've heard a lot of times people talk about farming snail farming in particular being profitable you can make money doing this and that but they don't always go into detail about what exactly you need to do and how you can do it to make a lot of money in snail farming guess what today i'll be showing you six ways you can make an absolute killing in snail farming if you do these things right okay i have my board here once again let's all start with number one and that is by selling selling live snails this is pretty much the bread and butter of the snail farming business this is how the majority of farmers make their money so basically you construct your farm be it a greenhouse or a penthouse you order or you purchase what we call point of lay snails that is snails that are sexually mature to begin laying eggs you stock these snails into your greenhouse or your penthouse you feed them you nurture them eventually they will continue to lay eggs these eggs will hatch into baby snails that will grow and eventually mature into table size or adult snails that you can then sell to the market what's the market for this you can sell this to market women you can sell it to hotel chains restaurants joints like here in Nigeria where people go to eat meat you can also sell to supermarkets now the strategy if you want to go in this kind of business and make a lot of money is to sell the bulk of your snails during dry season here in, in nigeria and i guess most other african countries we have two seasons the rainy season and the dry season rainy season is about seven months dry season is about five months now because during the rainy season the supply of snails is a lot because market women and a couple of others can go into the forest into the bush and gather snails they don't have to go to commercial farms to buy those snails okay however during dry season those snails that they usually gather in the forest they are nowhere to be found because they are mostly hibernating because the condition is harsh the relative humidity drops massively now it is to the advantage of the commercial farmer to try to sell the majority of his snails during the dry season because this is when the price is at its highest during the run, during the rainy season you can sell one of your snails for about 250 naira to 300 naira as opposed to during the dry season when you can sell the same size snail for about 400 to 500 naira depending on your location okay so if you want to go into this business this is the strategy you need to exploit all right now the second way to make a lot of money in snail farming is to go into the meat processing value chain meat processing this value chain is more or less about you getting the snails extracting the snail meat from the shell removing all the intestines the guts and all that stuff you wash the meat you cook it properly and then you either dry the meat or you smoke the meat apply your spices and then package the meat what's the market for this 
you can sell to the international export market the UK, the US. You can also sell to shopping malls, supermarkets, and a couple of hotel chains, right? Now, a caveat to this value chain is that if you want to do it, then you need to apply for what we call the NAFDAQ registration number. That is the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control. Okay? Applying for that can be very tedious and expensive, and it might take a while to get it, unless you have connections, that is. So that's it for number two. Am I missing something else here? Nope. Um, now, the third value chain you can explore as a snail farmer is the slime extraction value chain. This, my brother, my sister, this is the big daddy of the snail farming business. This is arguably the most lucrative value chain in the entire snail farming industry. And I'll tell you why. First of all, what is slime? Slime is that yellowish liquid that snails normally secrete when they are agitated or when they are pleasurized. Okay? This slime contains a lot of antioxidants that is very helpful to the human skin. It helps to heal wounds quickly. It helps to treat acne. Basically, anything to do with skin, it is very, very helpful. And this is why it is in high demand in the pharmaceutical and especially the cosmetics industry. As a matter of fact, one kilogram of this innocent slime that you're seeing here has been recorded to sell for as high as $60,000. A company in Thailand, I think called um, Akna, I will link it in the description below for you to read. They sell this slime to the North American market for about $60,000 per kg. Now, to put this into perspective, this slime is very difficult to extract. One piece of jumbo snail can give you about one milliliter of slime. That is, if you don't want to kill that snail, if you want to continue extracting slime from that particular snail. However, if you want to kill that snail, if you were to kill that snail, you will extract about 10 ml of slime from that same snail instead of 1 ml. The problem with that is that when you kill that snail, you can no longer extract slime from that snail. So it's not a long-term strategy. In order to safely extract slime from the snails without killing them, and also to extract slime that is of enough quality to meet international export standards, right? You need a machine called the Slime Extraction Machine. A company in Italy, I think, produces it. It's called uh, Mucus Pro, all right? You can acquire this machine anywhere from $2,000 to about $80,000, depending on the capacity of the machine, how many snails you'll be able to pack into the machine in order to extract slime from it. So the bigger the capacity, the more you have to pay, okay? In addition, the market, the global market for snail slime was about $3.7 billion in 2019 and is projected to hit 12, 12 billion dollars by 2029. I think you sort of, you get the idea that this is where the money is at. But like I mentioned, getting into this business is very expensive because to acquire the machine, you need to spend tens of millions of naira in order to acquire it, depending on the capacity of the machine you want to acquire. If you have that kind of budget and resources, I would encourage you to explore this value chain, okay? That is that. Number four is the production of formulated feed.
Now, snails, like every other creature, needs um, certain nutrients to survive. Carbohydrates for energy, protein to build muscles, and certain nutrients like calcium, phosphorus, and potassium to control their bodily functions. Now, the problem with feeding your snails only one kind of food, for example, if you want to, if you feed your snails with watermelon all the time, or with cucumber all the time, or with cocoa all the time, there's only so much your snails can extract from those foods. They don't necessarily get a balanced diet by eating those things, right? So they may not grow as well as you want them to grow. But unless you supplement with every other type of food. But the advantage of having formulated feed is that the snails can extract all these nutrients in just that one feed. How you do it is you basically have get a formula for the feed. You rent the machines, the grinders and the mixers that are used to mix. So you grind the ingredients. You grind, for example, the bone meal for protein. You grind maize for carbohydrates and other stuff. And then you put it in the mixer, depending on the proportion that your formula tells you. Then the mixer will mix it into a uniform powder that you then bag and sell off to your consumers. Now, what's the market for this? You can sell to snail farmers that want to feed their snails with formulated feed. You can also decide to expand and also produce formulated feed for other value, other um, markets like fish farming, um, poultry farming, or even pig farming. As long as you have the machine and you have the formula and you know what ingredients you need to apply in that formula, uh, the sky is the limit. Okay? So that is that. For number four. Now number five is in the production of calcium feed. Snails need calcium in the form of calcium carbonate, okay? They need this calcium to be able to control their body fluid, one, two, to be able to contract their muscles so that they can move to find food, three, to be able to lay eggs, the eggshell is made of calcium, okay? And then finally, to be able to grow healthy, strong shells, the, sh the, the shell that they retract into for protection against predators. Okay, so they will go to extra lengths to get this calcium. If they don't get enough of it from their food, they might end up cannibalizing each other, eating each other's shell, or even eating your wall in order to extract the calcium in the limestone or mortar used on the wall. Okay, now to go into this business. The trick is to make sure you live in an area where you have enough access to the raw materials that possess this calcium carbonate. And what do I mean by that? For example, limestone. Limestone, which is about 98.5% calcium carbonate. You can also get it from oyster shells. Okay, which is about 95% calcium carbonate. You can also get it from eggshells. Which is about 94% calcium carbonate. These are the four major sources of calcium carbonate if you want to go into this business. So if you have easy access to any of this, then it could be an opportunity for you. So what you do if you want to go into this business is basically get any of this, then you buy the grinder, the grinder you need to grind these things into powder form. And after grinding them into powder form, you can then bag them into 50 kilogram bags. Typically, 50 kilogram bag of powder oyster shell here in Nigeria goes for as high as 15,000 naira per bag. 
I'm not sure about limestone. I think the, the cheapest I've found is about 3,000 Naira per 50 kilogram bag. I'm not so sure about the eggshells. I've not seen them enough in that quantity. But yeah, these are the four main ways to get the calcium carbonate you need for this business. And the market for it is basically um, other snail farmers that need calcium for their snails or poultry farmers that need um, calcium for their chickens. The chickens lay egg and the eggshell is made of calcium. So if the chickens don't have enough calcium in their food, they will be laying very um, fragile eggs that break easily. Okay, so that is it for this value chain. Production of calcium feed. Now the last but not the least is the consulting business. The consulting business. This is basically for farmers. You have to actually be a farmer. Huh? Farmers that have a farm and they've garnered a lot of experience and they feel they have something to offer to young and budding farmers that want to come into this business. You can go into a construction of farms so other farmers may contract you to help them build their greenhouse or their penthouse for a fee you can also go into mentorship okay mentorship for a fee you can also sell ebooks ebook sales, you can do seminars, online courses, WhatsApp training. I mean, the sky is the limit. You're only limited by your creativity in this. So, as long as you have the information and your information is quality and you're able to market yourself be it on facebook on whatsapp on youtube anywhere and people know and trust you you will do very well in this value chain this is another value chain that has the potential to make you a lot of money because it's very very scalable unlike the traditional stay family business so let's recap the six ways you can make a lot of money in snail farming. That's number one, by selling live snails. Number two, by going into the meat processing value chain. Number three, by slime extraction, which is arguably the most profitable, but also the most expensive to get into because of the machine that you have to purchase, okay? Number four, going into the production of formulated feed not only for snails, but also, also for poultry, pig, and uh, what else again? Poultry, pig, and fish, okay? And then going into the production of calcium feed for snail farmers and also for poultry farmers. And then last but not least, going into consulting, which is a very, very scalable business because you can market this business online, okay? So that is it. But I would like to also add that it's all well and good that snail farming is very profitable and I've, and I've shown you how you can benefit a lot from it. It's important that you also know the not so good side of snail farming, i.e. the disadvantage of snail farming. This will help you to make an informed decision, to be objective when deciding whether to enter this business or not. And in order to do that, I would recommend that you watch my video on the honest truth about snail farming. In the video that I released a couple of weeks ago, I will link it in the description below. If you found value in this, please, I recommend that you subscribe so that YouTube will notify you whenever I release videos. And I can assure you, a lot more videos will be coming to this channel. Also, please like, share, and also click the notification button. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Until next time, I remain Michael from Zenexo Park.
Have a lovely day.